Sal and Alex have brought us together here for an occasion of great joy and a cause for great celebration. My name is Emily Wiegman. I am the maid of honor. And 15 years ago in middle school gym class, I met Sal. Together, we tanned on the football field when we were supposed to be running laps. <laughs> Our college Halloween moment. It was when Sal came over to watch the Pussycat doll show, and my cat viciously attacked her, and she stayed. I knew we were going to be best friends for life. <laughs> Alex, my son, I love you so much. On this year's wedding day, I am overcome with happy emotions, love, gratitude, excitement, and joy. You are and always have been a fantastic son, and I have loved every minute of being your mother. You are kind, caring, loving, brilliant, funny, loyal, thoughtful, and generous. Hey. <laughs> Each of us knows that a marriage is not created by law or a ceremony. Rather, it occurs in the hearts of two human beings. It grows out of loving, caring, and sharing ourselves with another. Choose you, Sal. I, Sal, choose you, Alex. In the presence of our friends and families. To be my husband and partner from this day forward. To love you, to be a comfort and safe haven in your life. To hold you close. To listen deeply when you speak. To uphold you with my strength. To weigh the effects of the words that I speak and the things that I do. To never take you for granted. And always give thanks for your presence in my life. It is my privilege to present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Rose. Our favorite pastime was going to Outback together, so it is only fitting that she is marrying a former Outback employee today. <laughs> Sal at our 
uh, friends, Brian's and Chelsea's wedding. And uh, she was kind enough to actually let me crash with her and Alex uh, at that hotel room, which I'm still surprised you're so kind to let me do. That's kind of the, the theme of the occasion, right, is that they are the most generous people that, that you can know. But I'm so glad you did, because Alex took advantage of the open bar at the wedding and, uh, <laughs> and definitely took advantage of it. And so when he hit the hotel room, he immediately zonked out and snoring. But Sal stayed up with me, and we were talking, and we were talking about everything from Alex to life at Lubbock to herself to, to Alex Moore. And, uh, and once again, we were, just kept talking all through the night. It reminded me so much of that time when Alex and I were talking until the newspapers were delivered, and I knew that they were a good fit. I can't let you go away, baby. We did it. We're fucking married. For real this time. <laughs>